Paramaths has 480 individual practice games included in your subscription. And these are great for fluency practice, for quick retrieval of number facts, and also for engaging your pupils. You can find them in Planning White Rose Maths Edition at the end of each unit plan. So for years one to six, scroll to the bottom here and you'll find the individual practice games. The three versions of each game, A, B and C, and these correspond to support, core and extend. The objective that's covered is the same, but the numbers just get slightly harder. So to preview it, click on the link and click open. And each game has three levels within it, bronze, silver and gold. This gives the children plenty of practice once you've allocated it to them. They will always go in at bronze level, but as teacher, you can look at any of the levels. There's audio instructions throughout, and there's also the chance for children to have a quick practice of the game before they play it for real. So there's always an aim in the game. So for example, here, demolishing this old shack. So if you want to allocate this to your class, just click on the link again, click allocate. And as long as you've got your class uploaded to Active Learn Primary, you can allocate it to the whole class or just to individual children. You can also find the individual practice game within resources. So go back into Power Maths and then Resources White Rose Maths Edition. And under Type, you'll find individual practice game. So this gives you a user guide and also access to all of the games. You can then filter them by year group, national curriculum strands and objectives. And you can also allocate them from here as well. So once you've allocated the games to children, this is how it looks from their point of view. So I'm going to go and visit a child's account. So in their pupil world, they'll find the Paramaths games under My Stuff and then My Work. And in the Paramaths tile here, this is where they'll find the games that you've allocated to them. So you see for each game, they can see how many coins can be earned by playing the game. And once they've earned those coins, they'll go into their treasure chest here, which they can then spend in My Rewards. And once the game's complete, it'll move out of My Stuff and into My Library so they can play it again if they wish. So let's log out as a pupil and log back in as a teacher. So once the children have played the games, so whether you've used them as homework or whether they played them in school, you can see their results under tools and activity reports. So select your class, select the time period, and then you can see the last game that every child in the class has played. And this gives you feedback on their results. So for Amira, she's attempted bronze level. She's only achieved 60% so far, so that's not quite enough to move on to silver. Whereas Benny and Celia, have got 80 and 100% respectively in that first level of their games. And they need to get at least 80% to move on to the next level. So Celia has uh, completed all the levels of, of this game, as has Deborah. And if you want to see a bit more detail on all of the games that a particular child has played, click on their name, and then you can see the results of all of their games.